By the way, before we move on, it, there's not an award for story of the year in college football. Jalen Milrow. But if there was, I mean, Jalen, have we seen anything like this before in college football where a guy is named the starter at the start of the season, right? He has a bad game against Texas. He gets benched. <laughs> yeah. He gets no. benched in the UCF game, USF game. Yeah, Nick Saban was like, no, no, Tommy Reese. We're going to go back with Jalen Milrow. I'm and the then captain. he does this. I <laughs> yeah. mean, this is unbelievable what and he's really, done. And the other thing is to remember, too, is that I don't care who the assistants are at Alabama. You know who's there as the head coach? Nick Saban. And when Nick Saban is the head coach, you always got a chance to win. Unbelievable. This what is, a performance. This is the final score. It has gone final. Alabama and Nick Saban, by the way, who was 11-1 now in conference championship games going wow. back to his time at L LSU. That's 27 crazy. to 24. Unbelievable. And uh, look, guys, this was an even game. I mean, it was going back and forth. a great game. You know what the difference was? Georgia missed a field goal in this game. Great Ooh. point. Georgia and missed a field goal. Off the upright. Off the upright. What was that, first quarter? First or it was early in it the was first in the half, first half like, yeah. But, you know, you're right. And this is where just like – you know, complimentary football, it's cliche, and it's a line that I think is overused. But at the same time, Alabama really displayed exactly what complimentary football is all yeah. about. They're not special on any aspect of their team as far as, like, we know they do this. They found a way to win, a, a different way to win, it seemed like, in every game that they won this year. Yeah, and, and it – Shout out to the YouTube chat once again. We're checking it out. Continue to comment, interact. Um, Riff said, if Alabama wins the SEC, then Texas has an automatic playoff spot. Uh, Texas fans are going to they're they're gonna gonna hammer be that. making their yeah. case they are. at this And point. you know what? They, they should. should. Yeah. You know, credit them for scheduling it. No I, doubt. I have been a Texas doubter all year. One, because, you know, I had to be a villain for someone, you know. <laughs> had and, to be the uh, Texas fan. Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, I mean, my brother went to Texas, so, of course, I have, like, a <laughs> right. soft bar in my heart for Texas <laughs> and, and what they're about, right? But just, you know, the thing is, they had the courage to go to Tuscaloosa and play them, and they won. And, and we really should not discredit that at all. When everyone else is playing, you know, uh, FCS teams in their extra games that they have, Texas said, you know what, we're going to go play one of the best – teams in the whole country each and every year on their home field. They did it. They won. And, and we should really give them an extra star for them, yeah, you and, know, and, in that case. Yeah, for sure. And, you know, I don't know, man, uh, the way that Alabama has been playing from, you know, probably what, the last like six, five, six games. Yeah. September it, and October, they were, it, uh, they it's were hard for okay. me to. Yeah. Texas has looked more like one of the top four teams starting last week because you even said it on the show once, Matt, you're like, they haven't looked dominant all year. Right. There's other teams that have looked dominant in the season. And Alabama, to close out, they, they were handling their business. They were standing on business. Uh, <laughs> now, I know that the Auburn game, uh, it, we needed the Milro miracle for that. But I'm going to put an asterisk next to it because it is – a rivalry game is an iron bowl. Some crazy things happen over there. But uh, as for Georgia, right, they're, they've been the most elite side of the ball this year, unlike we've seen the last two years, is their offensive side. Their mm -hmm. offense has been fantastic this season, one of the best in the nation, right. basically top ten in every major category. And today they couldn't even reach 100 yards rushing. Amazing. Coming off of a game where their running back had a career game on the ground. So shout out to the Alabama defense because yeah. the Alabama defense has been up to standard all year. No doubt. The game where Jalen Milrow was sat out and forced, they went through Ty Simpson, and you know they're bringing in uh, Tyler Buckner. That defense still stood strong. That they defense totally still handled their business. And then they just needed the offense to, to, to bring it up here. And now we're seeing that in this game with Milrow getting the upset over Georgia. The last time that Georgia had lost a game was in the 2021 SEC championship game. Now, they met again a couple weeks later, and Georgia got the best of Alabama. We'll see if that happens once again. Give something. Give something.